Hey YouTube watchers, um, Reef Smart here again with another re update, update on my video. Um, it's been probably about a week since the last video. Um, water is up and running, everything is working really well. Um, you can kind of see my rock work pretty good in here. So, the way I did this, which is actually pretty cool is underneath the sand so almost the same size as the tank is a three quarter inch thick um, piece of plexiglass and somewhere about here and about like that there are two acrylic rods that are half inch thick um, that run from actually the last one literally stops right there and the other one starts about there and goes down. Um, and they go from the top to the bottom and I literally drilled holes in the rock and then slid the rock down over the top of the, of the rods. And then there's a, my local fish store actually sells this thing that they call Aquacrete, um, which is really just kind of like a, it's like a polymer. Um, with mixed with a sand and concrete looking resin um, and they mix it together and it becomes something kind of the consistency of maybe a thin toothpaste um, and then I just took that um, and applied that almost like almost like mortar almost like mortar and I placed that on different pieces of rock so like this ledge here this is actually held on there um, so you can see. by that aquacrete. Same thing with this rock here. It's actually it it's actually suspended. It's not actually leaning up against that. It's actually suspended. Um, and most of this actually doesn't touch the ground. It, it looks like it does, only because I have the sand pushed up against it right now. But if I would have pulled the sand back, there's actually about an inch gap from the bottom of the tank to um, bottom of the rock. So my plan is, hopefully, is to have a couple different gobies, a couple different um, things in here that actually like to burrow. And I'm, what I'm really hoping for is to try to create like a top, a bottom, and a middle of fish. So I'm going to have a couple different gobies in here. If you guys have any suggestions, please post what you think would be a good option. But I'd like to have a couple different gobies in here. A um, couple different things that like to make homes in the rocks, um, and then also a couple things that like to swim around the tank. Um, so I was thinking of doing a flameback angel, um, or possibly a pygmy angel. Um, I'm probably going to do a snowflake um, clown, um, maybe a yellow watchman goby, or high fin goby, um, six line wrasse, um, maybe yellow wrasse. Um, something, those kinds of fish, something interesting, um, it's not a huge big tank so I can't have anything that's, you know, huge, but something along those lines. Alright, so let me go down here. I got my Apex system all hooked up, so that's all up and running. Alright, um, alright, so... What my original plan was to have is to have one of these mostly open and one of these halfway closed. It didn't work out that way. For some reason, I don't know why, but it, when I have one all the way open and one halfway closed, if you will, um, what ends up happening is, is that the water does not seem to stay level. So I had to close one of them um, a little bit more than the other, and this one actually has more water coming out of it than this one does um, because this here I actually made quarter of an inch lower in the back of the tank than the other one on purpose for to have more water come out that one than the other one. Um, my hopes was to have this open um, and to have this halfway closed but what I'm wondering is is that if possibly I can finagle the plumbing a little different. I don't know I might hook up some stuff different but for right now I have it that way. Um, let's see if there's anything else new. This is running. 
Um, let's come right through here. Oh, I think this is new too. So this is my Neptune Systems probe holder. In case you guys haven't seen that, I'll give you a good look. Um, works really well. The far one on the end right here actually holds the temperature probe. Um, and obviously I guess it gives you room for... I got my pH probe right there, but I guess it gives you room for salinity and... I don't know. Something else. I'm not sure what else you'd put. But, um, ozone maybe or something. I don't know. Um, so there's that. And let's see. I think that's about it. Now, I haven't hooked up my dosing pumps yet, but that's what we're going to be doing. So, short little video, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to please, please let me know. And so far, this is the progress of the tank. Let me back up a little bit. Alright, guys have a good night, and uh, please subscribe, have lots of questions, and um, as I get some more stuff in here, I'm going to post more videos, so feel free to please let me know if you guys think. Alright, leave smart out. Talk to you guys later.